Hello! I just wanted to make a new video today focusing on my brand new DIY CO2 mixture. Um, I know I've talked about a little about this and how I use the Gatorade bottles and I've got two of them. One with the mixture and then one with just water that acts as a bubble counter. Uh, and these as a system are working fine. But I went, bleh, what I wanted to talk about today is the changes to my mixture. I'm using about one cup of sugar and then I pour in boiling water, maybe three quarters of the way up, mix it with a long wooden stick, let that sit obviously to come to room temperature. While that's going on, I start yeast with a little bit of sugar in like 102 degree water. Uh, stir that, cover it, let that sit, and I'm also putting maybe a tablespoon of molasses in here for food for the yeast, additional, additional food for the yeast. That's what gives it this brown color. Um, the other thing that I'm doing differently is using a powdered wine yeast instead of bread yeast, and I've read that that's more stable, more long-lasting. So I did that Friday, no wait, not Friday, um, maybe it was Thursday, could have been Wednesday, <laughs> who knows, it's finals week and my head isn't where it should be. Uh, anyway, it's doing really, really well and the tube is still running to the filter impeller. I have never had enough output to use like a any kind of CO2 diffuser. Um, I'm literally getting maybe one bubble a minute, I would say, even with this fresh batch. But still, uh, and I'll show you in a minute, the results are quite awesome. Uh, because it's cold in my house and it's December, I usually give it a little shake in the morning. And you can see, and here, <laughs> you know, the filter doesn't really like it, but it, uh, that gives it a jolt in the morning, gets it going, hopefully. Uh, and what I want to show you is the incredible purling. I have never in my life, I don't know if you can see it under that banana leaf right there, but holy crap, I have never seen purling from DIY CO2 in my life. Um, sometimes you'll actually see strings of bubbles going up to the surface from the plants and then on the surface it's crazy bubbles. So they are obviously loving it. I'm still trying to get <laughs> that one banana plant leaf. Okay, now you can see it. How cool is that? I haven't seen anything like this since I did CO2 injection a couple years ago. So let's hope this keeps up. Um, I'm pretty happy with this tank right now. There's a shrimp back there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, added the Sagittaria on the left there. And yeah, I'll be doing some updates on my other tank this week. I'm getting rid of two fish. And then when they're gone, I'll be able to get some autos and things that will help with the algae issues. <laughs> I wasn't even going to show them in this video, but I finally realized this isn't debris on my plants, it's green. It's brown algae. Duh. I don't know why it took me six months to figure that out, but it did. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, DIY CO2 with the new mixture. Uh, working very well in my five gallon. See you later.